Welcome. If you have children in your life or tweens, uh, you must be aware of a sensation that has been taken over their lives called Roblox. And it's been getting even more attention lately because it recently filed to go public. So let's look into it. I'm Deepak Devjani, I'm a CTO, and I work with founders to help build and grow their companies. In these deep talk series, we focus on some of the biggest companies today. How do they make their money? And what did they do to become the companies they are? And in today's episode, we're focusing on Roblox. So what is Roblox? Roblox is a company founded in 2006, and it's a virtual gaming platform. It allows you to create an avatar, and then you can use this avatar to explore virtual worlds. If you're a bit older, you may remember a similar game called Sims. Remember having a Sims family and having to go in there and maintain and nurture your family and your duties to do and things of that sort? Kind of, sort of similar to that, except Roblox has made uh, creating these experiences so easy that even kids can do it. Majority of the users that Roblox has happen to be children under the age of 13. Yeah, 54% of Roblox users are tweens. So how big is Roblox? Well, as of the most recent numbers that we have, approximately 31.1 million users use Roblox every single day. And here's the kicker, on average, they spend over 2.6 hours every single day on Roblox. Now that's a hefty chunk of time. For the nine months that ended in September 2020, so from Jan to September, Roblox brought in over half a billion dollars, around 588 million. And this number is 68% more than the money they brought in for the same nine month period the year before. So they are on a growth spurt, you could say that. And here's the interesting part, Roblox is a free software. You could download it and use it for free today. Okay, you don't need to pay for it to use it or to enjoy any of the gaming experiences. So how does it make money? Well, here you go. So Roblox generates revenue by selling its own virtual currency called Robux. Users can buy it as a one-time purchase every time they want some more money to spend inside the game. They can use it to pay for enhancements to their avatar, to have better capabilities for their avatar, or to even enjoy experiences inside the games. Some premium experiences are paid, and they're paid using Robux. Second way it makes money is by selling a monthly subscription. The subscription gives you enhanced capabilities and more features inside the gaming, and players can sign up for a subscription anywhere between five bucks and 20 bucks a month. So now let's talk about how can people like you and I make money on Roblox. So Roblox splits the money it makes from these Robux, these, the, its own virtual currency, it splits this money with its developer community. It doesn't just randomly give it to them. Developers create experiences inside the app that people can then pay for and the money that is spent on your experiences, you can have some of that money. Um, how much money did people make? Well, in the nine months ending in September 2020, developers made over $200 million as getting payouts from Roblox. So there are four ways developers can make money from Roblox. First one, they can sell access to experiences that they have created inside the game. So I could just make a... Uh, I can make six flags inside Roblox and I can charge people tickets to enter my experience and their avatars can go on rides inside this experience that I created. Second, engagement-based payouts. That's what Roblox calls this, which means if users spend a lot of time inside my experience, Roblox would just give me money based on the amount of time people spent inside my experience. Let's say I'm having a holiday party and then why a lot of people, and a lot of people come and they spend a lot of time at my holiday party, I can make money from that. Third way, developers can create tools and code blocks and stuff to sell to other developers inside Roblox, and those developers can use the Robux virtual currency to buy them from each other. Back to the example of Six Flags, maybe I make roller coasters really well, right, and my rides feel a lot more real. Cool, I could create this and sell to every Six Flags franchise inside Roblox. Fourth way developers can make money. Uh, I can create 
actual products to sell inside Roblox. For example, I can create clothing for people's avatars. I can create enhancements, ninja suits, eyewear, anything of that sort, and sell it inside the avatars marketplace. Here's where people buy things for their avatars. That's the fourth way. So what's the revenue split, D? Roblox splits 70% of the revenue with the developers. And only keeps 30%. And if you are a creator and you just created actual products to be sold in the avatar marketplace, you could keep 30% of that money. So how does Roblox plan to grow? Well, based on most recent findings, it's betting on two ways to grow. First, Roblox aims to convert more and more of its users into monthly subscribers who pay for that premium plan to get more and more features inside Roblox. It's also partnering with brands to create custom experiences for that brand. So Toys R Us can open a virtual Toys R Us inside Roblox. Disney can create an actual Disney World inside Roblox. Second way it's aiming to grow and increase its revenues is by increasing its user base. It's trying to expand into more international communities, more geographic, more geographic expansion, all that stuff. Um, it's also incorporating automatic translation for a whole lot of games and experiences inside its universe to accommodate for international communities. It is also trying to go up in its age group by attracting older audiences. Okay, so now let's talk about how does it compare up against what's in the market today. Roblox has been compared very often to Unity, Unity software. Uh, it's a publicly traded company, recently went public. Both of them are virtual gaming platforms, okay? Both of them have a game engine or a game creation engine, okay? Roblox is called Roblox Studio. Unity has Unity's engine, Unity Game Engine. And this software can be used by developers to create games and experiences. Both of them rely on a huge community of developers, third-party developers that they haven't hired themselves, so, they, so none of these are on their payroll, and they rely on this community to create these games, create these experiences, and then it just provides a platform for users to experience them and makes money from that. So now let's talk about the differences and where they diverge away. For games created within Roblox Studio, those games can only be used within Roblox. Unity's game engine, on the other hand, is used to create games that can be published and sold and used and played on many different platforms. Like, I can make an iOS app, an Apple, like I can make a game and publish it on the Apple App Store or the Android Play Store, or I could do it for the Wii, or I can do it for the web. I can publish that game anywhere, and I can create it within Unity's game engine. It has more broader utility. Here's the next difference. Roblox is a pure play gaming company. That's it. Unity, on the other hand, yes, of course, it started off like that, but it has since read off and grown and expanded into many other categories as well. For example, AR and VR, augmented reality and virtual reality. The position that Unity has in AR and VR is so strong, it's so much ahead of all the other tools that are out there, that it has some substantial applications in industrial use, healthcare, scientific research, all those industries are using and strong and increasingly incorporating AR and VR using Unity's platform to create them. Developers who develop things on Roblox's studio can only make money inside Roblox. Unity developers, on the other hand, have a lot broader hireability. They can make money anywhere else as well. They can either sell those games, sell those experiences, on other platforms, they can also get hired by the companies. So, how does Roblox fare in its IPO? That's to be seen, to be decided. Um, but now you at least understand how they're different and how Unity has a larger, how Unity has a larger moat as compared to Roblox as of today. Okay, well, there you have it, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe and like, like the video itself. And if you might think of anybody else who might enjoy this video as well or might benefit from it, I'd really appreciate it if you could share it with them. And if there are any other companies that you would like to know about, by all means, please comment them at me. I'd be more than happy to cover them. On that note, this is Deepak Devjani signing off. See you next time.